This is a daily chart of SOMX. Um, today's candle's not shown on it yet. I'm going to show you that in a second. But uh, in the past, I guess what this video is basically about uh, kind of a change of heart I've had. Uh, in the past, I would never have put SOMX on our watch list because uh, in one day it moved from 4 to 10. Um, and really, in the next day, hit uh, 1060. I would have said, you know what, that's just crazy. Um, anything that can move like that actually seems kind of dangerous. Um, and I, you know, and that's my number one thing is keeping our members safe and not to get in any crazy trades. All right, now let's scoot over one day, show you today's candle. Um, it had an early pop, closed back down um, below its middle of the day, but that's irrelevant. I want to show you the intraday chart here, and um, sort of why I had this awakening. Uh, oftentimes. Stocks that have crazy moves like that give a nice setup during the day. Okay, these are five-minute candles. Um, had an initial pop, and I, I definitely don't mess with something like this in the early going. I'll move this out of the way here. First five-minute candle, for example. Um, as I hover the, the arrow over a candle, you can look up here in this box. It'll show you the highs and lows. The first five-minute candle um, had almost a 50-cent range, 827 low, 874 high. Um, really, in the next candle, all the way down to 820. So in 10 minutes, you had an 820 to 874 range. All right, that that's a big range on a $8 stock in 10 minutes time. However, we like to use 30 sometimes. Uh, the kind of give we call it our intraday. We affectionately call it our intraday swing trade. Okay, this is a zoomed in chart, uh, candles, 30 minute candles from just today. Again, we affectionately call these our intraday swing trades because they, they're based on 30 minute time frames. You have consecutive lower highs here on 30s. It's becoming, you know, one of our, this is actually a long time favorite play of ours because um, it just smooths everything out, okay? So the high of this candle right here um, was finally broken. In other words, you have consecutive lower tops on 30s and it was finally broken right here. Now I'll get the lines out of the way. Hover over this one. The high of this candle was 860, and the low of this candle was 840. So here was your trigger, 861. Worst case stop, 839. And from the 861 entry, it took a while, uh, but ended up running all the way to 897. I'm sorry, 978. That's a big difference. Um, 860 to 978, again, on a little, little over maybe 21, 22 cents risk. All right? Now back to five minute candles from today. Um, if any of our members missed the uh, 860 entry, which is right in here, again I've uh, switched back to fives, it gave a couple subsequent entries that we pointed out. Again, our stop was down here, okay? But it, it kind of meandered for a while. As it came back up, uh, you had a high here from that initial pop of 868. So some of our members that missed the 30s entry, maybe they were off looking at another trade, I told them, you have another potential catalyst here if it gets to 869. I said that before it got here, okay? So then he had 869, and you could have put a stop there for a second um, attempt if you missed the 30s, if you weren't already in it from the 30s. And then if you missed that still, now you've got an interesting situation because this pop went to 879, and what do you have over here? The early high of day uh, from the morning here before 10 o'clock this morning hit 888. And if you remember this daily chart, um, it's definitely got some passion behind it. People are watching this one, and when it starts to move, uh, you definitely get a nice move behind it. Back to fives. Okay, so we had an early high of 888. If anyone missed our 30s entry right here and missed our subsequent call right here for a secondary entry, we said again, hey, if it breaks this high, let me get the lines out of the way, if it breaks this high, okay, 879, so if it hits 880, uh, we said this as it was coming back up here, if it hit, uh, excuse me, if it hits 880, there's a good chance you're going to take out the high of the day, which was 888. So you've got what we call stacked catalysts. You've got the break of 879 uh, right here, very good chance the momentum of this break, in other words, a break of an um, intraday high from, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes before, very good chance it's going to take out the high of the day. And if you see SOMX start hitting new highs for the day, one reminder on the daily chart, uh, there's a good chance people are going to start chasing it. So it was several ways into this thing, and all of them worked out. Because um, once it was over the high of the day, you can see uh, all bets were off and the shorts were in trouble. So uh, once it hit eight, uh, and the beauty of these entries, okay, is all of them gave a pretty tight stop, all right? 
Um, but you didn't have to buy the high of day break, which can be dangerous, as you know. I don't like chasing high of day breaks. Happened right here, and that certainly would have worked too. Um, but this this entry here, a break a break of this high, um, or this entry here, which was a break of this high, or the 60s entry, or a 30s entry, I'm sorry, that happened right there, all of them had stops um, that never got hit and enabled you to get in and then ride it up without having to take the risk of buying the high of day break. So um, the moral of the story, the moral of this video, if nothing else, is you see a crazy stock like this, uh, I would say for the next week or two, keep it on watch because you might get some nice low risk setups like that. Whereas in the past, um, I would have just ignored them because I would have said, you know what, it's extended. So uh, as a trader, you really never stop learning. And uh, this was uh, SOMX has been paying nice, paying us nicely for the last few days. Um, you know, and I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm still adding ideas that I never would have added in the past. So uh, I thought, thought that was kind of interesting, and I thought I would share it. So I'm going to quit babbling, and um, we hope to follow up, uh, hopefully, later this week with a, um, a free pick for the week. Have a great night.